Hey everybody, this is Peace Pipe Man coming at you once again. I wanted to give you an update of what I've been up to since the middle of March. After hearing people's stories in the YouTube community regarding exercise tax, state tax, federal tax, mm, people trying to import tobacco and they have to pay a hefty fee to get that package. Mm, almost triple times the cost of the actual tobacco. I decided it was time to seriously pull the trigger and start stocking up. And I want to share with you what I've purchased since the middle of March. And by the way, yes, I am smoking my barling. The uh, pipe that I replaced that I lost about 10, 10, 12 years ago, leaving it on top of the car and driving away and oh my. But it was a beautiful pipe and so is this one for smoking early morning mm, pipe tobacco. Mm. And I'm smoking it now because this is my first bowl today. So let me get right back to you and let me show you what I purchased in the last couple months. Okay, everybody, I am back. And yes, that is my Chester taking a little nap. Wow, his papa shows everyone in the pipe community what he has purchased. So here we go. All right. So anyways, those are stacks of 10, but I've picked up a few more of the Peterson's early morning pipe. And a good friend of mine did an exchange he was very gracious and gave me five tins of the Dunhill early morning pipe. So going over here, we have the Scottish cake by Robert McConnell. That is an awesome, awesome Virginia with Perique. Excellent, excellent blend. Over here, I got turned on to St. John's Flake Virginia. That is an excellent blend. Wessex Campaign. That is an excellent dark Virginia flake. Very rich. Gets better as it ages. And I picked up a few bags of the Pembroke. Um, it's an excellent English blend with cognac, and that's what I like about it. It's very similar to Margate, but I prefer this one just because of the cognac that they added. It just, I, I just enjoy it so much more. So that's, I'm trying to balance out the Virginias and the English blend that I've been purchasing. So I picked up a few of those. Um, over here we have the Wessex Curly Block. Oh my, that is heaven too. That has a lot of Virginias with Perique in it. And as it ages, also it gets much better. Okay, this one. Let's talk about this one. All right. So Jason Mouton sent me a sample of St. James Flakes from 2018. And I tried it and immediately fell in love with it. The Virginias, especially the Perique, is what makes this one so special to me. I did try it when I initially jarred it. And it wasn't as good as the aged flakes that Mr. Mouton sent me. So I was fortunate enough to find this and in each one of these i have six tins now i want to mention why did peace pipe man open his tins and jar six tins in each of these and the reason why is is that a lot of the tins were not sealed and i was so disappointed in that they were the square tins so guys if you have square tins I would recommend either sealing it somehow with, I don't know, a bag or, or just jarring it to be on the safe side because stuff is not cheap. So I purchased 
luckily, I couldn't believe it, 18 tins of the St. James Flake. Um, thank you so much, Jason. That was wonderful, and I immediately fell in love. And boy, your sample was gone the day I opened it. I picked up some and also dark Virginia Flake, Ashley's number 44. I really enjoy this. I like to mix up the dark Virginia Flakes, not just smoke Samuel Godwest full Virginia Flake all the time. So that's why I mix it with the West Six Campaign and the Ashley's number 44. Over here, I have a few Jomaine's original Latakia mixture. It's good. Um, so I wanted to pick up a few more of those. The Germain's King Charles, another excellent, excellent Oriental Virginia. Oh my God, it's this very, very, very good. I enjoy this a lot. And honestly, I've never tried this, but I thought I'd give it a try. As soon as I see it says Old Brown Flake. Um, I had to try it. Um, supposedly, it's one of those older fashioned ones that the people used to smoke back in the day. I don't know. Um, but I thought I'd give it a try. Here's another one that I've decided to try um, Jomaine's Dark Cavendish Virginia Tobacco blended with red and black Cavendish. So I don't know if I'm going to enjoy this or not, but I thought, hey, it was available. Let's give this a whirl. This one I might not age. I may just open it and try it. So, St. James. And also, you're already aware about the McBaron Stockton's Bun Cut. So, I picked up a few tins of those. And I also got a few Rat Rays, Hell of the Wind. This stuff is outstanding, especially when you let it age. The Virginia gets darker and darker and darker and more richer the longer you let it age. So that's what I've done. Oh, and what is here? J.C. Mouton's pipe that he made for me. Absolutely beautiful. And as you can tell, if I can get it, I've been smoking the heck out of this pipe. It's a real nice sitter in my mouth. And it smokes Virginia's like a champ. Wonderful, wonderful piece and very light. I am back. So I hope you enjoy that. That's what I've been up to. Um, just because I don't want to take any chances. I want to make sure I have enough wonderful blends to smoke later. When, if the taxes keep going up and everything else gets crazy, I will have enough tobacco to enjoy. So, um, with all of that, I just want to say thank you for watching. And as I always say, Keep them smoking, guys. That's what they're made for. Cheers, everyone, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend.